Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial for Real Flight Simulator. We are importing objects, virtual objects, uh, that we create in 3ds Max or get from other sources into the simulator for Real Flight uh, for your flying pleasures and, and whatnot. So today we are going over the collision meshes. Um, the rules for Real Flight that Real Flight has for collision meshes are as follows. You um, if you have an object that is below 8,000 polygon count, then Real Flight does not require you to have a collision mesh. So that's nice. Now, if your object is above 8,000, you do need to have a collision mesh, but the combined limit of your collision mesh and your object cannot be more than 20,000 polygons. Uh, otherwise, it will um, block you and not allow you to import and we don't want that so uh, first of all let's check how many polygons we got on this uh, tower here uh, we are starting from the point where at, just after we imported it so this is an import from an FBX file and um, we're gonna add a collision mesh to it uh, so we can check the polygon count here and, and go to object properties uh, now this says it's only at 16,000. I believe that's incorrect because it should be a lot more than that. Um, let's see if it changes. Nope. Well, um, I know that it's it, it's up at 30,000, but there is a modifier here. Uh, so if you are above 20,000, I think once we get the modifier in here, it'll show us how many faces it actually has. Um, you can add a pro optimizer modifier from the modifier list here and and go ahead and click click calculate um there it is so 30,000 and and now if you go here object properties yes it has the 30,000 faces here so that's um that's what i was expecting there um but that's okay because we can fix that uh, now you'll notice that the texture here went to brown. Uh, that is from this checkbox here. So go into materials and UVs on your right side of your screen and click keep textures and that'll pop those textures back up for you. Okay, so uh, we recalculate that. We still got 30,000 some uh, and pretty much we need to bring this down below 20,000. So 60% um, should do it. Yep, there we go. So eight, 18,000 and um, you know as you can see it pretty much doesn't change too much uh, it does a pretty good job S so um, yeah we may see some changes later on but uh, for the overall part as long as you don't go too crazy on it you should still get a reasonably looking object from what you started with okay so now that we have an object below 20,000 polygon count uh, we can add a collision mesh to it. Uh, now, collision meshes in real flight can serve a couple purposes. They can either be really basic that, you know, if you fly near this thing, you know, it'll, you'll run into it, right? Um, or they can be more dense or more uh, complicated and be very specific. So you can have, like, where you can fly up really close to this object and you still won't hit it unless you actually touch it. Um, and you can have the collision mesh pretty much hug the the uh, object. We're going to show a simple one here. Um, all you have to do is add add an extra mesh. Now in, in 3ds Max, the way we can do that is one of the Add tabs up here, uh, or Create tabs. I'm sorry for the uh, Command tabs up here. And there's a lot of different ones here. You can even there's a teapot. I don't know why, but um, you can add a lot of different shapes here. You can add uh, different, a lot of different things all in here. These are all lights and stuff. Uh, but these two are shapes and, and whatnot, and you got a whole bunch of even more stuff down here. Uh, but pretty much the basic, most basic one we can do for this one is a box. You know, some things may be better with a sphere. You know, you can do whatever you need to. I'm going to change this to orthographic real quick. I'm going to go to the top. Pan over, there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do is you click and drag with your left mouse button across the area that you want the box to encompass. Okay. 
and then um, go ahead and rotate your object down here like such and then when you move your mouse up you'll be able to drag the box to a completion you might have to zoom out now you can change the height of the box later so don't worry about getting it exact but as long as it covers your whole area and then you left click to do it all right so you're fine so you can either change the box here uh, right after you do it you can change the height uh, to whatever you want so if you know a specific height that you need or whatever you can do that um, other than that though you hit it, the escape button and it deselects the box but um, you can go into modifiers here and you can still get to those lengths and everything like that and you can even change the segments so if I wanted a, a two segments along the side um, it should have created a second segment somewhere not sure why it did not do that if we go into wireframe I think it may be there it is yep okay so it's creating extra segments along the side there uh, so you can create as many as you want and um, that'll help you editing it later uh, but the basic one we're just gonna call it a box uh, so what the next thing you need to do is change the name of this so this mesh is gonna be our collision mesh collision mesh real flight needs the name of this it is a tilde capital C capital S underscore C O L L and that is how real flight recognizes that as a collision mesh and then it needs to you're gonna click and drag it underneath your main uh, object here and that way it's attached to that so this is this one's collision mesh and you can have other objects with other collision meshes but they're um, nested under each other uh, so that's a very really basic collision mesh now if you wanted to and then uh, but um, if we go back in here to default you can just turn this off and then you can go on and keep editing this all you want and that collision mesh will be there now if you wanted to make a more complicated collision mesh a more object specific collision mesh uh, a cool an easier process to do that is to clone it so what you're gonna do is you're going to go down here to clone you're going to click uh, copy and you can either rename it here or later so we're just gonna click OK for now and you'll see that it creates a different name here and uh, so what we want to do is we can do default shading to wireframe and uncheck this and now you know that you're only looking at the collision mesh or the new collision mesh and then you can do the same thing here tilde cs underscore collision and we can delete the old box if we want to and then take this and nest it underneath the t tower um, now the the one problem with this is this collision mesh still has 18,000 polygons and this one still has 18,000 polygons so that's well over our 20,000 but what you can do with this one is you can go into uh, you don't have to have the pro optimizer on the collision mesh so we can delete that one for the collision mesh now in the editable poly what you can do is you go in here select triangles borders polygons elements whatever you want and you know you select that and then you can delete them you know now I wouldn't suggest deleting some of the outside polygons but uh, stuff such as you know uh, this inside stuff like that yeah we can get rid of that because you know doesn't do that or you know you'll hit one of these other things first now this is a very tedious process so you know sit down with a nice uh, favorite drink and some snacks and you know get to work and whatnot but uh, you can do that for the whole thing uh, and then you can even add boxes so you can go back here add a basic box around the bottom right um, or around these little holes like del or delete the hooks and and add that or add cylinders around these these antennas or something like that and really simple and that way you can do that and then you can use the attach tool and the edit poly um, modifier this one attach and you can attach two meshes together uh, and I did an example of that in one of my other tutorials so you can take a look at that um, okay so the example of 
uh, I did this one time, it did take a while, um, but the example of that is in there here. Um, the gray is the original one and the red is the collision mesh tower. So you can see that I kind of did a basic in the center here, uh, kind of like a cone shape um, around the antennas down here on the bottom. I just did a basic cylinder around them, right? And I only kept the kind of like outsides of these. And so if we turn off the main one, you'll see, oops, you'll kind of see the, the stuff, the, the stuff that I kept. And so you don't have to keep it everything and you want to get rid of most things so that this one, our object properties, it's only 595 faces. So that plus the 18,000, we're still under our 20,000 polygon limit and, and we are good to go. Uh, and so you can change the color up here too if you want. Um, so this is pretty much how you know you can create collision meshes and everything like that. You can go super detailed like this one, or you can go basic like a box, and and it's pretty much whatever you need. So um, yeah, that's that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I will be um, back and and stay tuned for more tutorials to come in the future. But thanks for watching.